We've got a special edition of Pro Football Weekly Sunday Recap. Since we're on a Saturday, creatively we'll call it the Saturday Recap. So Mark, what did you learn? Philadelphia Eagles won 20 to 7 today. They might be the hottest team in the NFL right now. And we learned today, Adam, that they're going to be watching the postseason from home. Plenty of other teams clinch playoff spots, but still in the end, the Philadelphia Eagles can't finish with better than an 8-8 eight eight record, and they're going to be watching from home. And all the chances of them possibly coming into Week 17 with a chance to get in are over. Not so for the Detroit Lions, though. For the first time since 1999, Detroit is in the playoffs. Matthew Stafford was only 11 years old the last time they were there. I think we also learned that not only are they in, but they're a team that nobody wants to face right now, the way they can score points in bunches. Next up is our biggest surprise, and for me, got to be the Cincinnati Bengals. It's been a surprise all year for me. We've heard it from our YouTube viewers in the comments how we were so wrong. I said they'd be a three-win team this year, and I admit it, I'm wrong. And they've not only proved me wrong, they're more than three wins. I think they're going to be in the playoffs. It's remarkable. They could possibly win 10 games if they take care of the Ravens next week, which is obviously a tough opponent. I'll stay in the division for my biggest surprise. Peyton Hillis today who played the Ravens, rushed for 100 yards today. He was only the third rusher this year to rush for 100 yards against the Ravens. And for the past two weeks, Peyton Hillis has gotten all the carries for the Browns. So what are they going to do next year? It doesn't look like he's going to end up back in Cleveland. There's definitely a team that could really use his services next year. He wasn't my player of the day, on the other hand. i got to give it to Victor Cruz for our player of the day. The Giants receiver only had three receptions today, but for 164 yards, including that unbelievable 99-yard touchdown reception from Eli Manning. He looked great on that play, and he's looked great all year. He's now the all-time leading receiver in New York Giants history, passing Amani Toomer. Victor Cruz, who saw that coming? Oh well, yeah, you got Hakeem Nix, you have Mario Manningham, but no, Victor Cruz is the leading receiver all time for the New York Giants. I'm giving it, though, to Matthew Stafford. Going back to the Lions, this guy, the last two weeks, when they needed him most, he has gone off. This week, 373 yards, three touchdowns. The last two weeks, he's thrown seven touchdowns, no interceptions. He's the guy they wanted him to be when they took him first overall. Now that he's healthy, it looks like he's finally giving them what they need. That's our Saturday recap for the best coverage of the league. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.